is ground zero for Mardi Gras, but just over two weeks ago, violence erupted there when two St. Louis police officers were shot and wounded. Tonight, a Soulard resident calls investigator Elliot Davis complaining decorative lights in their neighborhood just aren't enough to meet the challenges of rising crime. And that is tonight's You Paid For It. Longtime Soulard homeowner Elizabeth Hawkins is seeing changes in her neighborhood that she doesn't like. She's alarmed that the decorative lighting in the neighborhood park provides the only light on her street. She says these days that's just not enough. And we've always had a concern on this street that we have no street lights. So it's always dark. I park my car in the street. I come home. It's kind of a little scary to get out of the car. This is what it looks like after dark. There's barely enough light to see trouble approaching. She says these days she sees way too much crime. She wants some regular street lights added to brighten up the now dark neighborhood at night. But over the last few years, it's gotten a little bit more concerning because we've had an armed carjacking. We've had someone come up to their house with a gun. We've had just more crime that's happening. So I know lights aren't going to solve that problem, but at least it gives me a little bit of comfort when I get out of the car. She's not alone. I talked to Luke Reynolds. He's chairman of the Sugalard Special Business District. Specifically in this neighborhood, and yeah. upgrading and lighting wouldn't be a bad thing. No, not at all. I think it would probably be a very good thing for the neighborhood. So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we'd love to see it. The Soulard crime stats are published by his organization with information coming from the St. Louis Police Department. As of December, the stats show no murders in Soulard in 2021, one in 2022, 11 robberies in 2021, 24 in 2022, 16 assaults in 2021, 24 in 2022, 18 burglaries in 2021, and 28 in 2022. 67 vehicle thefts in 2021, that more than doubled to 149 in 2022. Have you ever talked to somebody about uh, changing these lights? I've talked to our current aldermen. I've sent emails to our future aldermen that are running. It's just a lot of back and forth discussion, but nothing's ever happened about it. How does it make you feel? Well, it kind of makes me feel like they don't care about my personal safety. And I probably would feel a little bit better if I saw action somewhere else. If I was like, well, they're taking care of the big problems. They're getting guns off the street. Mm -hmm. They're getting kids educated. They're prosecuting criminals. I would probably let the lights go, but those things aren't happening either. So I'm like, if you can't do that, at least let's get some lights. Now, I tried to reach the alderman of this ward, John Cotar, to talk about the decorative lighting. I called a number of times and left several messages, but he never called me back. But you know I'm going to stay on top of this deal after all. You paid for it.